Hi students, last session we were talking about uh, Epsilon closure, Epsilon NFA and related information about it. This session is completely focused on how do I convert an Epsilon NFA into its equivalent DFA. So the question would go like this, convert the following Epsilon NFA to its equivalent DFA. This is usually called as lazy evaluation method itself. Anyhow, there is no such specific name given as per my knowledge. Uh, you can even check it out. So this would work almost similar to lazy evaluation method. Now we have taken the same example as with the last session. So we will just check uh, how does it work. So step one, the DF, I mean, yeah, Epsilon NFA is given. The step one would go like this. Find or I put it like this. The start state of DFA is epsilon closure of start state of epsilon NFA. So only changes at this moment is this. So we know we have to find the start state of epsilon NFA. Then we should obtain the Epsilon closure for that, that would become the start state for uh, DFM. So now how do I go for this? This we know it is Q naught D. Q naught D will be equal to Epsilon closure of Q naught E. E indicates Epsilon NFA here. So that is equal to epsilon closure of q naught in this case so epsilon closure of q naught is please observe it is q naught q1 q3 so it is q naught q1 q3 so this is the initial state for this conversion now what does step two say step two map the input symbols to the state and continue until no new states are formed so this is the step it is it's only as it is almost similar to your uh, nfa to dfa conversion now moving on q not q1 q3 so this is the state we are considering this we have to check for that i need to obtain delta d of Q0, Q1, Q3 with A equals delta E of epsilon closure of you can check it out. So for the state Q0, Q1, Q3, we should consider the input symbol as A, that is Q0, Q1, Q3 is the initial start state for dfa it is one single state but for epsilon nfa it is three different states so we have to check the transition separately so epsilon closure of delta e q naught with a we should get the transition for q naught separately q1 separately and q3 separately and then we should get the epsilon closure for that that has to be uh, taken union there so this is what it should happen now. Check it out. So now obtain epsilon closure. I just uh, paste it there. So now what we should do, we should obtain epsilon delta E Q naught with A. What is delta E Q naught with A? Delta E Q naught with A is Q naught itself. You can just check out here. Delta E Q naught with A. Q naught with A transition is Q naught itself. Then we should Check the same thing for next thing. So union 
then uh, q1 with a q1 with a it is actually null q1 with a is null union epsilon closure of q2 with sorry q3 with a q3 with a is also null observe properly find out q0 with a q0 with a is q0 q1 with a there is no transition q3 with a there is no transition so it is null so we should obtain epsilon closure for q0 already we have specified epsilon closure for q0 is q0 q1 q3 so there is no new state obtained but we have to obtain we have to check the transition for same q0 q1 q3 with b that is it is same as this what we write so i copy paste the same thing here so it is delta e that is q0 with b q1 with b as well as q3 with b now how do i obtain then check out epsilon closure of q0 with b epsilon closure of q0 with b anyhow q0 with b is uh, null there is no transitions in the state q0 with the input symbol b union q1 with b q1 with b is q2 so we should obtain epsilon closure of q2 epsilon closure of q2 union epsilon closure of q3 with b q3 with b is q3 itself so we should write it q3 there now check out what is epsilon closure for q2 epsilon closure for q2 is q2 q1 q3 q2 there is a transition from q2 to q1 with epsilon then q1 with epsilon is q3 so it is q2 q1 q3 or q1 q2 q3 you can write it however you want then epsilon closure for q3 is q3 so together it is q3 i just rewrite it as uh, q1 q2 q3 both are same i just uh, made it in a proper order uh, that's it then we have to check with the state q1 q2 q3 anyhow since i already specified it i am not going to uh, do the next step in detail into the for the state q1 q2 q3 in detail it is known we can directly write it if possible so it is delta q1 q2 q3 hope that is clear if you can able to check once again q0 q1 q3 with a is delta e q0 with a we should separately do it q0 with a is q0 q1 with a is there is no transition q3 with a there is no transition no need to worry about it moving on q0 q1 q3 with b q0 q1 q3 with b split and i would do it q0 with b is null q1 with b is q2 q3 with b is q3 so we should take epsilon closure for those and take the union of it so you get the new state q1 q2 q3 now perform the operations for q1 q2 q3 q1 q2 q3 with a uh, i just take the epsilon closure part by writing the transitions directly there so q1 with a q1 with a is mm, null q1 with a is null you can just uh, use as it is q1 with a is null because there is no transition from the state q1 with the input symbol a q2 with a is also null interesting q2 with a is also null then q3 with a oh sorry q2 with a is q3 sorry sorry this is what happens sometimes 
so it is epsilon closure of q3 union q3 with a is null so now we have to check the answer what is epsilon closure of q3 epsilon closure of q3 is q3 itself then we have to obtain this part again so it is q0 sorry q1 q2 q3 with b that is again check out what is q1 with b so q1 with b is q2 so we have to obtain epsilon closure for q2 epsilon closure for q2 union what is q2 with b q2 with b is null then q3 with b is q3 with b is q3 itself so we have to obtain for that q2 epsilon closure for q2 is q1 q2 q3 epsilon closure for q3 is q3 itself so it is q1 q2 q3 it is same no did we get any new state definitely we got q3 as a new state so we should write the transition for that so it is delta d q3 with a q3 with a is there is no transition with q3 with a at all so it is obviously uh, null there then similarly we should obtain this transition for the state q3 with the input symbol b q3 with b is q3 itself epsilon closure of q3 is q3 itself so it is q3 so q3 with b is q3 this is done any no, any more new states no so stop it there then we go for uh, finding final states it is same as the in f to df conversion so f e okay i just write it as f f e that is set of final states for uh, sorry it is df so f d it is so now how do i obtain f d that is a set of final states final states of dfa will be all those states which contain final states of epsilon nfa so in this case q3 is the final state now we have uh, three states so q0 q1 q3 q1 q2 q3 as well as q3 so all those three states become final state let me show it can happen q0 q1 q3 q3 okay the final states of uh, dfa would be q1 q1 q2 q3 q0 q1 q3 and q3 i just check once again check the problem once again initial state is q0 q1 q3 q0 with a is q0 q1 with a and q3 with a is not there so we should obtain epsilon closure of q0 epsilon closure of q0 is q0 q1 q3 it is same q0 q1 q3 with b q0 with b is null q1 with b is q2 q3 with b is q3 so we should obtain epsilon closure of q2 and as well as q3 so it is q1 q2 q3 so then you obtain the transitions for uh, q1 q2 q3 with a and b q1 q2 q3 with a is uh, it is only q3 uh, because q2 with a is q3 moving on uh, q1 q2 q3 with b is uh, q2 and q3 so it is again q1 q2 q3 so you obtain the state for q3 it is fine so now we should uh, draw the resultant uh, dfa so step four would be write the resultant transition diagram of dfa now which one to draw let's check out with that part now obtain that properly so initial state is uh, initial state is q0 q q1 q3 so q0 q1 q3 with a is uh, q0 q1 q3 itself
then q not q1 q3 with b is q1 q2 q3 so it is q1 q2 q3 so from the state q1 q not q1 q3 with the input symbol b it is q1 q2 q3 from the state q1 q2 q3 it is q3 so this is a then q1 q2 q3 with b is q1 q2 q3 itself q3 with a is null q3 with b is q3 itself now since there is a null transition and since we say it is dfa as dfa says you should have should have one transition so whenever there is a null transition you can have one more state and you can call it as a dead state anyhow writing this may not be mandatory sometimes but it would give exact definition if you write it properly so since q3 with a is null we just make it as uh, transitions for dead state so you can say this dead state will have uh, transitions a and b something now left out is i should make it as a final state since all the three states are final states i just making it as final state simple i'm telling again writing this may not be mandatory dead state but it is better to write a dead state to match with the definition of dfa observe properly write the transition keep watching understand the classes if you have any clarification please do comment give the feedback subscribe the channel click the bell button to share thank you very much have a great life